Hey guys, Daniel here. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Buckman Branch Line Class 37, 37401, Mary Queen of Scots. Now, sorry I haven't uploaded a proper video that I filmed for some time. I didn't have much content to do, so I either uploaded an abandoned stations video or just took a break. Uh, thank you all for your patience. So, uh, let's go on with the review. Okay guys, so this is a uh, Class 37 refurbished, uh, depicting Mary Queen of Scots 37401 presumably from the 80s and 90s when it was working in Scotland. Now I can already tell that uh, it's a very good model. If you look at uh, the detail you can already see from just looking in through the box. It all looks very good. Right then guys, I'm going to take it out of its sleeve now to have another look at it. Uh, sorry for the bad camera angling, I'm still yet to get a GoPro. I will hopefully get one potentially at the end of this year. Well that was very smooth wasn't it? Right, shall we have a look at the instructions and stuff? Right then, Backman Branch Line Class 37 Diesel Locomotive Owners Information. Uh, just some stuff, there we go. Okay, information, accessories. Yeah, you, you can um, pause here to read all that, I'll just keep it here for a couple of seconds. Okay. Now if we move on, uh, you can attach parts to the model. There's the snow plough. Lighting feature switches. Ah, this does not have any cab lights unfortunately. I'm pretty sure it just has directional lights to choose from. But oh well, that's handy I suppose. Here is stuff about decoder fitting, if you ever want to do that. Functions. Oh, it does have cab lights and stuff, but that only works if you have a DCC decoder. Mm. That's a shame. Next page. Spare parts, warranty. Yeah, don't need to read through all that. Backman Collectors Club. Warranty service, uh, Backman Collectors Club again. Yeah, the same old stuff you get in the good old Backman leaflets. Then before we move on to the low coat, there's detail packs in here, and even etched nameplates, which is a nice touch. Right then, let's slip it out of uh, the sleeve then. Okay, so opening up the box. Okay, so you have the nameplates here, and oh, taking off there, there is the detail pack. My god, there's a lot of detail there. I'm not going to touch any of that. Although, where are the NEM couplings? Ah, they're attached to the loco already. Okay. Wow. That is incredible. Oh wow, it's a, it's a heavy loco as well, this. Right, shall we take this to the table then to have a look at it? Right then guys, so now it is time for detail. I can already tell that this is much better detail-wise than um, my other Class 37, my Hornby one, Network Rail Yellow. You'll have seen it in a few of my videos. Uh, so where shall we start? I suppose we should start at the body, shouldn't we? I, already I can see the uh, separately fitted windscreen wipers, which is good. The windows are not bad. There is uh, a cab. Don't know whether you can see it. Yep, you got a spike thing on the front. Tell me what that's for in the comments. I got no idea. The sticker application on the front is very good, and um, it's got NEM couplings, sprung buffers, which is already good. Livery application is good. Separately fitted grille. Uh, name plate is fitted well as well. Le lettering, well, numbering really. That's good as well. Now the roof is good as well. It's got those horns which uh, I don't think are separately fitted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just moulded into the body, but they still look good. They look the part. You've got the uh, the roof moulding, which again looks very good. And you have a fan which does spin. There you go. You saw it just then. Now moving on to the chassis. Uh, there's a chain on the chassis which is uh, very good and you got 
a painted gauge here on is it the battery boxes and nothing's been painted on the uh, chassis but all the detail is very complicated and it all just looks so real so uh, well done to Backman for this one this uh, loco is very 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 good uh, I will uh, do a comparison now against the other class 37 something I forgot to mention for detail there are the separately fitted handrails here and um, the door handle which might be separately fitted but then folks, shall we give her a little run to see how she performs? Okay folks, shall we do a crawl then? Right, it might be a bit shaky for a second. Okay, it's kicked in. Okay, for a loco that's not been running, that is not bad at all. That's very, very good. You can hardly even tell it's moving. I don't even know whether you can tell on the camera that it's moving, but it is, I can see now, it is moving edge by edge. It's not smooth, but it is run. It is moving very, very slowly. It's just nudging forward a bit. So I suppose it needs a run in then, doesn't it? Right, I'll give you some running in shots. It's a very smooth run of this. Okay guys, now earlier in the video I did say I would do a comparison between the Hornby Class 37 here, John Tiley, 97304 in network, rail yellow, and obviously my new Buckman Class 37 here. So uh, let's start with the comparison. Now the first thing I notice, as you can see, there are no separately fitted uh, handrails on the cab doors here on the 37, it's just painted, moulded detail. Over here obviously I've got the... Uh, separately fitted handrails which is very good there's a door handle which again is painted detail in fact you can barely even tell there is one on the Hornby 37 it's not very well painted that um, the step Hornby 37 doesn't have one the underside detail is very bare minimal on the um, Hornby 37, there's no complicated detail or chain or anything, or anything painted in fact on the uh, on the chassis of the Hornby 37 compared to the Backman one, other than the fact that um, there's this thing here. I don't know whether that exists on the real life Class 37 slash 97s. Um, the nameplate is applied relatively well though. Not much different. Livery application on the uh, Hornby 37 is good because this is a Railroad Plus locomotive. Um, uh, another plus is that it does have NEM couplings which is a nice touch. The front uh, is not bad. There is no separately fitted details on the front. There's no spike thing. Um, but it doesn't have sprung buffers just like the uh, Backman 37. God, my hands are a bit shaky today, aren't they? Don't know what's up with me. Uh, you got the grills, but uh, again, these aren't separately fitted. There's no spinning fan, just looks like it's something moulded. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much on the same for the other cab end. Um, yeah, and that's about it for the comparison. I suppose we could do a performance test. Now, obviously, I already did a crawl for the uh, Backman 37, which hasn't been running yet. Now, let's do one for the... Uh, Network Rail 37. Not kicked in yet, not kicked in yet. Okay, about a quarter power and it's already kicked in. Yeah, that is a... Uh, that's a minimum power. Yeah, it doesn't really crawl. Oh, it does a little bit, but it's a bit juddery. 
So uh, yeah, I suppose that's another advantage for the Backman 37, then it performs much better. Right then folks, now for my ratings. So for value, I would already give this a 5 out of 5, because I got this for 169 at Rails. And um, for that money it's very good value, the detail is very good, the uh, livery is very good as well, it's very well applied, nameplate um, and all the numbering and lettering is applied very well, all the stickers are applied well, it has uh, headlights and stuff, and even the fan spins, and uh, if I got DCC, which I probably never will, um, I could get the cab lights and all sorts of stuff to work, so that's good. Okay guys, so for detail, I only gave it a 4 out of 5, because of the uh, the fan cover here, which uh, is not fantastic. You can see the edges of the fan through it, which uh, isn't brilliant, but other than that, uh, it's fantastic. Like I said, you've got the sprung buffers and the name couplings and all the chassis has, uh, obviously the painted gauges on what I think is the battery boxes, you've got the chain and uh, all the complicated detail and the bogies, it's all just fantastic. You've got the separately fitted handrails and you got the roof with the spinning fan. you got the spike thing at the front, I don't know what that's for still, but um, yep, 4 out of 5 for that easily. For performance, I think I'm going to give this like a 4 to 5 as well because of the fact that it did crawl very very well but it was quite juddery okay guys so this run this uh, test I'm doing now of the crawl is after running in okay so it's not a whole lot better it's still a bit juddery so uh, yeah I think I'm gonna leave it at 4 out of 5 but overall it's a uh, it's a good performer that it it performs well. It's not overly quick nor over overly slow. Uh, yeah, it's just about right for that. I think. Right then, guys. I thought I'd do something new for the end of the video. So instead of abruptly ending off the video here, how about I do a little bit of a running session? So I suppose I can do this in the next few of my uh, reviews. We got a thirty-seven four hundred one here hooked up to a long rake of Mark II coaches, which looks lovely. Now I should mention this coach, this coach, and this coach I've recently bought from Rails. Uh, they're all very good condition. Bought it from the second hand section and uh, it's very nice. We even have passengers inside this buffet car, don't know whether you can tell. Uh, it's lovely. And uh, these two coaches are very old but they've been uh, looked after very well which is why I went for them. And we've got 97304 of course because that's the most fitting because, you know, it's also a 37 and it's hauling Oh, a small wreck of Mark on coaches. I only gave it a couple of coaches because uh, this loco has a rather measly motor. It can't handle a lot. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the running session. I've just noticed something folks, 
The buffet car has lights. They weren't working the other day though, but they've just suddenly started working, which is a nice touch. That's lovely. Right then guys, thank you very much for watching this unboxing and review. Oh god, that 37 network rail is lively, isn't it? At the high speed. I suppose it's got the high speed gear ring, hasn't it? Anyway, um, now tell me in the comments if you would like to see a diesel only running session at some point, because I do have quite a few diesels now, and it would be nice to do a running session with those. So uh, yeah, tell me in the comments if you would like that, okay? Thank you very much for watching, comment, like and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video.